Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming back to the Brooklyn Born Tarot. I hope you're all okay, and I greatly appreciate it. <clears throat> Please hit the subscribe and like button. It is so, so vitally important. And the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I upload. I can't tell you how grateful I am for that. Thank you. Don't be a gavone. Sharing is caring. That is to say, take only what resonates with you and please leave something for somebody else. Time is linear. These readings are timeless. When you come across it is when you're meant to see it. Also, I read gender neutral and channel gender neutral. So even though I may say he or she, I am channeling for energies. Please apply them to your situation. Okay? Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Spirit, it is with an attitude of gratitude I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good for the collective of Virgo, August 1st through 7th, 2022, or whenever they come across it. Hi, Virgos. How are you guys? I hope you're all okay. I love you. Spirit, what is Virgo meant to see? Thank you. Okay, Six of Wands. So you're feeling victorious about something right now. And you have somebody around you or you have water in your um, <clears throat> in your chart, okay? Because this is uh, the Queen of Cups and that's Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And this queen is, you know, loving, helpful. She's the mom of the bunch, charming. So there's somebody, you're being challenged actually. <clears throat> this is your challenge position to put your heart in that position to, to come into your Queen of Cups energy, okay? Or you could be challenged with somebody that's around you in the Queen of Cups energy. So you take it as it resonates, all right? But you're feeling victorious, so that's good. So if your challenge is to be feeling loving as well, then do that. And if it's if your challenge is to open up your heart to somebody loving coming in, then there you go. Apply it to your situation. Spirit wanted to clarify that. Thank you. You also have the King of Cups. Okay, this is Divine Counterpart. This is loud and clear. The King of Cups, this is the daddy of the bunch. Who's your daddy? He's your daddy. Family man, loving, caring, fair balance. Her counterpart. So the Divine Counterpart's here. Okay? So that's why you're victorious. Good for you, Virgo. Woo, whoa. I'm, this is a good reading so far. Wow. Victoria, sure, look, you're in love with your counterpart. That's a victory in this world. Here we go. Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, again, is water energy, okay? We're not going to go through the water signs. I'm sure you know what they are, and I have laryngitis. This is nostalgic. So you're feeling a little nostalgic, but uh, that's okay. You know, just a little nostalgic is okay. We don't hang around in there. We know why, right? We'll have to say it again. Coming into your near future, which you don't see, is with the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. Mod on me. Look, that's the best thing in the world, right? Your divine counterpart, your victorious, your little, you know, mocus. That's okay. Because the, now what you don't see is the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. <clears throat> oh, my God. What a great reading so far. And the Ace of Wands. I can't even get over this. Wands, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, success and passion. So the Wheel of Fortune is turning very successfully. Not just turning, but like overturning, you know, just, just doing the most right there. Into success and passion for you, Virgo. You guys rock. I'm so happy for you. I like to vibrate on high, higher frequencies around here. I'll tell you that. Okay, here we go. In your environment. Whoa. Is the two of swords in reverse? Wow, my God. This is unbelievable. Swords. Okay, air. Gemini, Lib Libra, or Aquarius. The two of swords is denial. So you came out of your head about something. Or in your environment, somebody's coming out of their head about something, but there's no more denial in the situation, right? Like, all is seen. Whatever this is, a big, it's a big success. This is so good, oh my goodness gracious. Everybody should have a reading like this. My own. Let's see, come on. What do we got? What is Spirit's advice? I gotta see this. Seven of Pentacles. Well, investing effort. Spirit is advising you to invest effort into whatever this shit is because this looks like nothing but, you know, success and happiness and love and luck and every 
goddamn good thing there is under the sun. It's about time. You're going to have to temper your emotions, okay? The most likely outcome of this is that you will be tempering your emotions, going slow, taking it easy, step by step, methodical, right? Thinking about things, just not opening your mouth, just making sure everything's copacetic. This is so good. Okay, I never cl clarify the past because the past is in the rearview mirror as far as I'm concerned, and we're looking through the windshield. So on that note, let's just see what prefaced all this. One card, please. Thank you. Okay, the Queen of Swords. Okay, so air energy. So this could have been you or somebody around you, depending on charts. I'm not going to go into all that. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This Queen is smart. She's organized, efficient, logical, creative, a problem solver. So, you know, you could have just uh, gotten, you could have been in your head, literally, because it's their energy, um, you know, maybe concentrating on your business or just concentrating on how you were going to fix your life or you weren't in a bad place, though, when this started. And then you went into the, and now, right now, you're in the Six of Wands energy, which is, you know, victory. Because you were in this energy, you got victorious. Good for you. At the bottom of the deck, there's a tower. Okay, so there could be a tower coming in. This doesn't have to necessarily be a bad one, right? This one I always say is sent from the divine. It's, you know, it's sent it from the divine. It's your destiny because, yeah, because you can see the picture, all right? These people chose to jump out of the tower. But wow, that's great. Let's clarify. Okay, these. Thank you, Spirit. Let's make sure we have them all. Okay, we're good. There you go. There we go. Spirit, please help me to give clear and concise clarifications for Virgo for August 1st through 7th, 2022, or whenever they come across this. Thank you. Hold on a second. This is my oldest deck, so it's the thickest and hardest to shuffle. One more. Holy Trinity, right? Here we go. Six of Wands. Ready? Here we go. Show me this. Whoa. Two more, please. Two more. Two more. Six of Wands. I wanted to, but it didn't go. Okay. One more. One more. Take all those. So sorry, I didn't mean to say that. All right, let's start here. Hold on a second. This one came out first. So you have, okay, the Emperor in reverse on the Six of Wands. So the Emperor's an Aries card. So if there was somebody that was an Aries, or <clears throat> if you embody this, you know, the Emperor rules the world. In, in this, in this case, the Emperor in reverse didn't didn't have. You know, their world in order, okay? They, they were out of sync with things, okay? They didn't, they weren't ruling the world. They were barely ruling themselves, okay? And then, then you got the four of wands. Uh, this is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The four is stability. It's an Aries card. So those are two Aries cards coming in, okay? Hold on a second. We need one more. Let's go. One more for this. One more for this. One more. Come on, show me. Okay, that's a flip. We take that. Here we go. It's the five, it's what? The eight of cups. Okay, so the eight of cups is water. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This is detachment. So you're going to have to detach from this situation to be victorious. This is what I'm hearing. You know, because you got this emperor in reverse. So that's either you have fire in your chart or there's somebody around you that's fire or fire in their chart, particularly Aries. Um, and, you know, you're wanting stability here. And instead, what you're going to have to be getting is detachment. Because that's probably the only thing that's going to make you stable. But that's okay because, you know, do it with love. Do it with love. Because your divine counterpart could be coming in right after this. The one you're really supposed to be with, right? Let's see. Queen of Cups, you got the Page of Cups. Okay. So that's a younger person, usually. An incoming communication, friendly, playful. Um, you know, innocent. Two of Wands. 
Wands is fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So that's inspiration. So this information that you're going to be getting with reference to this person, because we know all court cards are people, right? So there's already three people involved in this or somebody's embodying two energies because you could be in a couple of your planets at <clears throat> one particular time or your masculine and your feminine, right? So, yeah, in incoming information and uh, two of wands is, uh, you know, it's going to inspire you, whatever it is. I don't know. It could be anything, right? I mean, this looks like love because I haven't seen too many pentacles, except for over here, the seven of pentacles. So, let's see. What is this, two of wands? Spirit and ancestors, please. <clears throat> please and thank you. Show me this two of wands. One card. What the hell? Spirit. All right, ancestors. Here we go. Ready? Give spirit a kick in the ass, would you please? Come on, thank you. <laughs> Not that hard. Jesus. Okay, the devil upright. Sorry, sometimes I have to uh, call upon my ancestors to help. The devil. So we know that the devil, you know, this is toxic behavior, anything... You know, that's not good for you. This could be watching too much TV. This could be toxic people around you. So this, you know, this could be a toxic situation. This could be toxic thinking. This could be, you know, addiction of any sort. Um, you, you know, or some kind of binding. Like, you could feel binded maybe to this situation or this person. And it's toxic for you. So, you know, yeah, there's that. Yeah. You, you know, it might inspire you, but it didn't come, this devil didn't come out in reverse. I don't like that. Hold on a minute. Let's see what this King of Cups is doing. I mean, it's divine counterpart. One of you might be toxic. Be careful. That's what I'm saying, right now. At least, you know, unless you're embodying both these energies and you're kicking some toxicity away. That could be another way to look at it as well. All right? Maybe that's what this tower is over here. Okay, let's try to keep it in the good. Okay. Show me the King of Cups, please. Thank you. Oh, my goodness gracious, they came out all three of them. Oh, this is good. Okay, let me put this down a minute. So, you got the tower again. Oh, my God. All right, so this, it could be that this, you know, toxic person or situation, this is it. It's getting it's getting kicked to the curb again. This one is getting hit by lightning. You know, the people are getting knocked out. Five of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be conflict with this situation. You know, you got a lot. You got the tower next to the devil with some conflict here. You know, this is a Leo card now. You got Capricorn. You can't just... And then on top of that, you're going to have to temper your emotions. Oh, Virgo. What I say is run. Run from this situation, okay? This is not what's coming in. This is this is what's coming in the Wheel of Fortune. It's going to change it. So, you're gonna, this, you know, now we got Sagittarius that could be involved in this, okay? Scorpio. You, you know, tempering your emotions is... You know, head over, I don't even say so much head over heart, but you have to balance yourself. That's what I'm hearing, spirits. Balance, thank you. Balance yourself. And maybe you have to hold your tongue. Don't, you know, lose your temper, whatever. You could be like nostalgic over this. Here's the Six of Cups hanging out. Hold on. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, thank you, spirit. The sun in reverse. Well, that's not good. This whole thing is not looking so good. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't pull smoke up people's asses around here. It's because, let me tell you, you got the devil. And the, you know, you, maybe you... Oh, oh, and the ten of wands at the bottom. Okay, look here. Look here, Virgo. You thought... Okay, you were doing... Concentrating on, you know, making your empire right. Feeling victorious. That you were going to be victorious in the situation right now, right? But then, you know... It looks like there's stability, but you have to detach. And then now you think that you got this uh, divine counterpart here. But really, you know, one of you is very toxic here. And then, you know, you got devils and towers and standing your ground and tempering your emotions. And now the sun in reverse on top of nostalgia. You feel what I'm saying to you? Yeah, time to let this go. Let this real fortune turn. Let's see what's coming in your future. You know, because, all right, so this is your emotions now. This is what's crossing you, okay? So this is what you're being challenged with. Spirit is challenging you to overcome this situation. This queen of cups person, you know, that put you in, in this, or was very toxic, right? The devil. So now you got to temper your emotions, and, uh, you know, this is now, 
below you. This is below you. This is underlining a situation with the tower. Where you had to stand your ground and, now you got, and then you had to temper your emotions. But you're feeling nostalgic about it. And now it's the sun in reverse. So, you know, it's looking like a relationship that gone bad that you thought was going to go to the end or something. Yeah, I don't know. Take it and apply the energy as it as it is for you, okay? Yeah, let's see what this sun in reverse is. Wow, it started off so great. But you know, from here on, it might change, right? Because this is the near future and then the path ahead. So let's just see what'll be it. Right, we gotta be optimistic. Attitude of gratitude, like I always say, right? We have to have this attitude of gratitude. Come on, show me the sun. Thank you. I can hear my anger. Okay, so you got the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. I don't know me. All right, so the Knight of, you know, the Knight of Cups, this Knight, <clears throat> he would be the big brother, of course, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So somebody came in, you know, offering a cup there, but it's in reverse, so they took it back. And it's Cups, so, you know, it could have been love, but something changed there. That was just, you know. And then it's Knight of Wands. Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so this Knight, you know, is... I always call him. He's the player, right? He's charming, dead devil, smooth operator, in for a good time, not for a long time. Now, this could have been somebody who had both air, <clears throat> I mean, water and fire in their charts, right? So this could be the same person, or this could have been two different people, but whatever it was, you thought it was, you know, going to be the sun, and it turned out to be probably, well, it turned out to be very toxic right there. The cards are saying it. I know you could see it yourself. But now, let's concentrate on the future. Get happy here, okay? Wheel of Fortune. So now you got the Wheel of Fortune that's turning in your favor. Probably because you kicked this crap to the curb, right? So, that's being clarified by the Eight of Swords. Swords is air energy again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the Eight is overthinking. So, you're overthinking this opportunity that's coming in. There's an opportunity coming in. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor and you're overthinking it. Maybe you're thinking it's too good to be true, right? So take a minute and think, but this is, you know, this is self-imposed. Like, get out of your head, snap out of it, kind of. And, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'd, you could step right out of those swords. You see that? You could step right out of them if you just unblindfold yourself. So get out of your head is what I'm telling you. This real fortune is going to be a good opportunity. Excuse me. Eight of swords. Show me the eight of swords here, huh? Eight of, oh, okay. Great, thanks. We'll take them all. Put this down. All right, so this was a very big burden on you, okay? This was a ten of wands. Wands, fire, energy. I'm not going to go through the three signs. This was, you know, this was burdens on you. This was very burdensome for you. Or it's going to feel like it's going to be very burdensome for you. And that's why you're in your eight of swords. That's why, okay? You're overthinking this because this looks like a burden to you. This this will of fortune turning in your favor, whatever it's going to be, it's going to look like it's going to be a burden to you, Okay? And then you got the King of Pentacles. Okay, so now this is another, this is a person. So Pentacles is your own energy. All right, it's Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. It's Earth. This King is the businessman, stable, emotionally balanced, patient, hardworking. So this is you, right? Maybe you're feeling like you're going to be overburdened. Oh, okay. So because there's things you don't know about whatever this turn or world, you know that that's why you're overthinking and you're burdened because you don't know everything. Okay, but you're in your energy. And you're afraid you're going to get the Ten of Swords in your back again. Or that this is going to be a painful ending and destruction, okay? This is what you're afraid of. Which, the tower is at the bottom of the deck. So, I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass. Use your head, Virgo. Use your head. Ace of Wands. What is the success and passion, though? There's going to be success and passion. So, so you're, going to, you're going to get over this. Whatever this is, you're going to, you know... You're not going to let nobody do this to you again, I'll tell you that. And good for you. And then you're going to be successful and passionate. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay, here we go. We have the Nine of Wands and Death in Reverse. All right, so that's a good thing. Okay, so the Nine of Wands is persevere. So, you know, you're going to persevere through this. That's going to make you successful and passionate. And there was a death of a situation, but now that's over. You got over this. Whatever this was, whatever this, you know, was coming in for you or you... You're going to get right over it. You're going to get right over it. Okay? There isn't going to be any ending and any transition. You, 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 you know, you're going to be just the way you are now. You know, and persevering through it. You're going to be fine. Now, the two of swords in reverse. 
You're not in denial anymore. Oh, wait, wait, let's get one more card for this. Hold on a second. Nine of Wands. Show me the Nine of Wands. Show me the Nine of Wands, please. What's with this? What's persevering? What are we doing? I mean, okay. Oh, we got two flippers. Okay, so we got the Hangman. So you wait. You know, you're weighing your options. You're taking a time out here to make sure, you know, you're going to take a time out to recoup from this. And then you're going to feel like, you know, you want to go out and celebrate with some friends and, you know, you're going to feel better. You, after this, you're going to feel better. You really are. You're going to feel better. You Maybe, take, you know, I'm taking a time out for a minute there for yourself. It's okay. But then you're going to go out and have fun. Look at you. Right? Now, two swords in reverse. Let's see this. Denial. Why do we in denial? I'm going to be careful. The Empress. Whoa, there you go. All right, so here we go. Aries energy, right? This is the Empress. She's not just the ruler of... You know, a country, she rules the world. She's all abundant. She 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 has everything she needs or wants. She manifests. She's she's beautiful. She's, you know. So there you go. There you go. Okay, show me this Empress. What's this Empress doing on top of this two of swords in reverse? You're not in denial about the Empress anymore. You're not in denial about the Empress anymore. You finally accept it. Right? And then the Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor again. Look at this. So whatever situation this is, the Wheel of Fortune, turns, now the Wheel of Fortune is really going to be turning. See, it's going to turn over here. Let me just explain something to you. But it's going to turn to get you out of a If you're stagnant in a situation, maybe in your heart, head, financially, whatever it is, spiritually, whatever it is, right? The, the truth is going to come out and, and you're going to, you know, you're going to, you're going to be okay. You're going to be inspired. You see the thing? You see the ace, the wands there? And you're going to, and then, and then, look at this. You're going to come out of denial about whatever this empress is, right? Whoever this empress is in your life, whoever this is, you, them, whatever. And the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favor again now. So that Wheel of Fortune, even though it didn't look like it was turning in your favor, is getting you stuck out of a sticky-ass situation that maybe, you know, yeah. You're leveling up, Virgo. You're leveling up. Let's go. Show me this Wheel of Fortune. Thank you. Now we have the Two of Swords, but now we're in denial. Why are we in denial? Why, why are we in denial? Let me see this. Because now you got the Queen of Cups again coming in. Look at this. The Queen of Cups is the Queen of Cups again. Okay, so again, the mom, right? The mom. Water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Loving, helpful, charming, creative, open-minded. So, you know, you know, the real fortune is turning. Maybe you're not believing that, you know... Because already with this, this Queen of Cups was toxic. So maybe this Queen of Cups person was, I mean, this could be you, but it's really not looking like you. This is looking like somebody else coming in. You're in denial about this, that they're upright this time without a devil on them. Maybe they got better. I don't know. I don't know. You have to apply it to your situation, really. It's so many different things. But the Wheel of Fortune is turning your, in your favor and you're in denial about this Queen of Cups. Maybe you don't want to accept who this person is. I don't know. Or maybe they don't want to accept who you are. Don't forget, you could, you got to mix up these energies. It's you with some... And it does, doesn't always have to apply romantically. It could be like any relationships in your life. So don't just always say love. Like romantic love. You know what I mean? It could be family. It could be work people. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. There we go. We got Nine of Swords. Well... Okay, you're going to be uh, investing effort, but it's going to make you very stressful for some reason. And you, because you're going to be feeling this loss and sadness. You're investing effort and trying, to not, and trying not to be full of stress and sleepless nights. And, you know, instead of looking at these cups that are spilled, look what's behind you and crossing this bridge in this beautiful house. Like you really, you know, you got to, and this, this, you know, the sadness on you, this cape. Take this sad black cape off. I always wonder what kind of outfit is under there. You know what I would be wearing? Oh, my God. And heels, at least. Jesus. I mean, I'm all in from Brooklyn. Hold on a minute here. So now, Hermit, you're coming into your own reading here, Virgo. So this is going in, inside and in, inner wisdom and taking a time out and getting away from people and, you know, just coming, loving yourself and learning from yourself. And then you're going to come into the magician. That's excellent. Okay? So this is, you know, zero in the major arcana. This, this, again, another Aries card. There's a lot of fire in here. A lot of Aries particularly. But you have everything you need to manifest whatever you want in life. Okay? It's, you just have to pick up your head and look. Get your head out of this black, ugly cape. Okay? 
you know, everything you need to know is inside. It's not inside that cape, though. I can tell you that. Okay, look, let me tell you. Everything you need to know is inside you, not inside this cape. Get out of this cape. Oh, my God. It's the ugliest cape I've ever seen. These cards. These, forget about these cups. Look at those. Those are really nice, right? Let's turn around and look at those. We're going to walk over the bridge and we'll hang out over there for a while. Freak this freaking place, okay? You're the magician. Don't be stressful. You're going to be able to manifest this. Now, temperance in your future. Show me the temperance. Show me the temperance. Most likely outcome. Don't forget, we all have free will though, right? So anything can be changed at any time. This is energy. And it flows. It flows like a... <laughs> flows, trust me. Here we go. Show me. Come on. Ancestors, you know. <laughs> so I gotta ask you. Come on. What do you I'm gonna wind up cutting them in a minute. Okay, thank you. Mink. Yeah, gosh. Okay, the hierophants. So this could involve marriage or any legalities, any kind of traditionalism, you know, religion. So we got a hierophant popping out in this spread. What else? Two more, please. Please and thank you, man. Please have two more. Come on. Thanks. Okay. I'll take them all. Jeez. <laughs> Just give me some cards. My God. Okay. So now you got the hierophant. So now you got the Knight of Swords in reverse. Well, here we go. This knight is air energy, straightforward. He's a doer. He's overthinking. He's organized. This is one unorganized. This is a hot mess, all right? <laughs> this is what this person is. Whoever this person is, male or female, that's charging in like that is a hot mess, okay? Don't marry them. Don't, don't, don't marry them. You think you're going to be successful at this situation with this nine of cups, all right? You think, you know, that change in perseverance is going gonna, is gonna to make you successful. Six of pentacles uh, and stability. Well, now, hold on a minute. I'm getting a whole other message here. I don't know. Oh, God. Listen, this is what I want to tell you. Don't work too hard at a situation with some... You know, don't don't be in your head in a dream, okay? Like, if, some, if there's a hot mess, there's a hot mess. And no matter how much you persevere through it, you know, you're not going to be stable with it. You will, you will not be stable. Maybe you're going to be stable without this situation. So you really have to, you know, go into the hermit mode here. Go, you're the Virgo. This is your card. You know, before you do anything rash, do not do anything rash. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Ace of Swords. Okay, air. Break through the truth. I, this is facts, okay? These are facts, all right? And that's that. All right, now let's get some kippers on this. Kipper, let's put your two cents in this. Well, it started out amazing. You know, and it could work out very good if you just make the right decision. You, you know, you got to be careful with toxic people in your life. No matter who they are, they could be your children, they could be your parents, they could be, you know, lovers, friends, enemies, neighbors, who knows? Business partners, just watch yourself, that's all. Here we go. Kipper, what do you want to say? Come on, Kipper, let's go. Uh. Come on, Kipper. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wow. All right, we're gonna do this. Here we go. Courtship. So yeah, what did I tell you? The king and king, the king and queen of cups could divine, divine counterparts. So there could, you know, be a courtship starting with this. The number four could be relevant. There's a great fortune involved, so there could be money involved in this. Two twenty six or uh, eight could be in, you know. That could be a number that counts, right? There's a thief in your midst. I'd be careful of that. All right? There could be somebody that's a thief. Be careful. And the number six again. Yep. 26, six, six, six. Okay, and one more. Thoughts. You're in your head about somebody. You're in your head thinking about somebody, okay? So get out of there. Snap out of that head. It could have been a lover. Could have been somebody with a love situation. So just, yeah, snap out of it. You don't need that aggravation. Nobody does, right? You're good where you are. Especially with somebody, you know, like, well, there's Capricorn here. I, mean, I think I read the signs out, right? Sagittarius. Scorpio. Cancer. I mean, Virgo. You came into your own thing here. 
All right, let's see. Dragon Oracle. Show me a Dragon Oracle, please. Thank you. Show me a Dragon Oracle, please, and thank you. One Dragon. Oh, thank you. Oh, God. Jesus. All right. Space. Yeah, give yourself some space, Virgo. That's what you need. See, space. You need space. Space is the thing. And this one is grief. Accepting loss at the bottom of the deck. Sometimes you just have to accept the loss. That's it. You know, you can't save everybody, right? And so on that note, I'd like to thank you for coming. Please, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really makes a big difference. And I can't tell you how grateful I am for it. If you would like to make a payment or a uh, payment, listen to me, a donation or book a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God. Until next time, Virgo, thank you so much. I love you guys. Love and light.